Tanner Bozer, man. Great uh, to see you. Pretty excited about your June 5th fight with Lair, uh, Latifi. Um, how are you preparing for a guy like that? Training hard and, you know, we're making sure I'm working on my wrestling defense. You've been fighting guys that are a little shorter and stronger in the gym to prepare for that? Only when it's allowed to go to the gym and work with people. I mean, officially, yeah, officially COVID's happening all the time. In right, light of that, are there any other training techniques that you're using to sort of, uh, do you do any more mental training or anything like that when you realize that it's different, more difficult to get to the gym? If you train hard physically and you know it's going to be a really hard training session, then you're training mentally because you have to prepare yourself to go and, and push yourself through something that you know is going to be horrible. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in sitting and meditating and doing mental training or stuff like that. Your last fight with Andre Orlovsky was very, very close. I know you're pretty hard on yourself after that. Uh, a number of us scored it uh, fairly even and actually had you winning that, that third round. But fighting a guy like Orlovsky, um, did it make it any um, more easy to take when he said, you know, he's young, hungry, strong, and I knew he was going to try to knock me out, and he reminded me a lot of me when I was younger? And that was a compliment he gave me. Yeah, that was a nice thing for him to say. Like, yeah, obviously, I appreciate that he was complimentary, but I didn't do enough that fight. And yeah, I still kick myself in the ass about it. It wasn't like an error. It was um, like a an entire fight length of me not doing quite enough. So I have it in my head. I've I've adapted. I'm making sure I, I go for it more all the time, even in sparring when I'm allowed to spar. So. Um, I should be ready to go. I mean, I've seen you've been so aggressive in a lot of your fights, and to get back to that and to even improve upon it would be uh, really, really exciting. To talk a little bit about um, some of the songs that you've done in the in the past. Well, what about Rocky Mountain Lot by Robert Adam? That one was actually recorded by um, a guy I knew from Bonneville who has got um, some some pretty good music out nowadays. So when I heard uh, that song, I thought it'd be cool to walk out to something by, you know, a guy from my hometown. Um, and again, it was applicable. I wasn't just doing it because of that. I, that one's self-explanatory. You know, it, the, it opens up with someday when I make it big, I'll buy myself a place in the Alberta side of the Rockies. Something like that would be the dream. Tanner Bozer, man, it's always uh, awesome to talk to you, my friend. Thanks for taking the time, and I'll be on the edge of my seat again on uh, June 5th, cheering you on against uh, Latifi. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, brother. Take care. Bye.